It's X. It's my mind. We're, and we're back, back with another, another video. video. <clears throat> so, as y'all can see from the thumbnail and the title, this is a little story time of how much of a joke me and Xavier's life is. <laughs> I know, guys. So, you know what? I'm gonna let you start off the story because I'm not gonna say nothing crazy. All right. So, if you guys didn't see Vlogmas Day Three. We went and got the tree, cut it down. If you didn't see Vlogmas Day 4, which everything will be in the iCards if you want to catch up on the little story. But, if Vlogmas Day 4, we decorated the tree. Everything was cool, everything was fine. So now, flash forward to Vlogmas Day 5. That was when we were shopping and we took Buju um, grooming. Yep. So the day started out. It was good, you know, it was a good Glad day. Going, going. Weather was a little iffy, but other than that, it was a good day. Alright, I'll take over. <laughs> I'll take over now. So as we stepped out to um get Buju his grooming, so his grooming basically took two hours. So we said within that time we were going to record and you know, just go out, go shopping within the time and you know what I'm saying, get food. So within that time we the son told us to come back to the house to get him. It was before. Yeah, so Xavier, the first part of the vlog, Xavier went to go get his shape up and I went to get my eyebrows done. Yeah. Obviously, we couldn't take Buju with us. So uh -huh. we left Buju home, we went and did that, and then we came back to get Buju. Mm -hmm. So I come in the house and i go get buju and it was cold outside so usually you know i get buju like a little jacket or a little sweater or something like that so buju usually stays like in like the kitchen dining room area so i go in i pick him up i'm looking for his um sweaters and i something told me that his sweaters were by the christmas tree so i literally go over there and i look at the christmas tree and i didn't see the sweaters i turn around and not even two seconds later, all I hear is and the, like ornaments jingling. Shaking my head. So now she comes out running to the car because I'm in the car at this point. I'm like, yo, just go inside. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to get the car. Like, yo, just go inside. Go grab Buju. Go head out and start our day. So she comes back outside running with Buju. Babe, the Christmas tree dropped. The Christmas tree dropped. <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? How did Christmas, how, how, did, how did it just fall like that? Bro, so, it you know. literally just fell. And literally, like the night before, I was walking past it and I'm like, why is that thing leaning like that? It was like, if this is the tree, the tree was like this. <laughs> and that explains why the but angel. But I didn't think anything of it. I was yeah. like, oh, you know. I mean, you know, if you like cut the... You cut it a little yeah, slanted, yeah, yeah. it's gonna lean one way or the other. I'm like, all right, you know, I don't know why it's leaning like that, but ain't nobody else say nothing, so maybe I was just bugging. So, I mean, I don't know. I didn't peep any of this, by the way. Like, I noticed that the, the angel was like kind of slanted, but I'm like, you know, we'll just fix it. I just thought it was like a little bit, it was just a branch or whatnot. So I'm like, all right, you know what I'm saying? We could fix that. But, we just never got, it just ended up falling out of nowhere. And I was like, and I kind of take the blame for it because I felt like I'm the one that kind of took the tree out the garage and then actually put it in. I didn't think to double check that like, yo, is it screwed in correctly? Cause her mom and um, her and her mom were actually like screwing the tree yeah. in. But I wasn't getting on the floor to do that. I just put it in y'all said he was good. I walked away. I should have yeah, just double so checked to make sure Literally the whole tree fell. Thanks. So like Xavier said, our plan was to go drop at Buju off at grooming and literally stay in that vicinity and do Christmas shopping. That whole plan changed. We had to run, drop Buju off because if you're 20 minutes late to grooming, they charge you still and they can't see him. So I'm like, all right, we're not about to do that. Mm -hmm. So we literally drop Buju off. We come back. I honestly wish we could have recorded the moment. But there was just way too much going so on. So much was going on. We would have done it. We literally walk in the front door. My brother is holding the top of the tree. Dad. My dad is underneath the tree trying to see something. Water's and literally, on the floor. The water ornaments is, on the floor. Water's everywhere. Sparkles are everywhere. Ornaments are everywhere. 
everything is just everywhere and basically my my brother and my dad were trying to put it back up and literally every time they put it up it just leaned back over and yeah. fell off you ever walk into like you ever go into a situation or you ever walk somewhere and you just and you're like stunned like like I'm, we were speechless you're just like staring at like what do i do next that's what that was me when i walked in the door i was i, I walked inside as soon as i walked inside the door i was looking at the tree for like at least two minutes i was like in my head, I was thinking like, how the hell did she fall? Bro. Like, <laughs> so what are we doing next? Because mind you, I didn't know where to start. There was water. pops on the floor, a brother holding the tree up, ornaments on the floor, water, water on the floor. The whole rug got drenched. I'm like, it was just... So then bro. we basically found out the problem <laughs> that the little, like, the stump of the tree wasn't in the holder all the way. And it wasn't in the holder all the way because there were like some like branches that was... parted off but like didn't like have any like pines on them so we didn't think to like get the huge hedge clippers and cut it off so that's why the tree kept on tipping over because the tree stump wasn't in all the way so my dad had to go to the garage get the the little hedge clippers xavier had to hold the tree up my dad had to clip the branches off and then we had to put it back in there this happened on Friday. Today is Sunday, and me and my mom redecorated the tree today. So I'll put, you know, the. I mean, it looks kind of the same, but we did some things different. So, I mean. It's funny because this all sounds like a lot, but we actually were able to get this done with under a half an hour. Yeah, under a half an hour. I'll it's because there was four hour. of us. Yeah, so we, we got we got right to it. But you know where I'm from, man. We don't really use. Um, real trees, fake trees. So I don't. I again, I take the blame. The whole time, Xavier was like, "You see, that's why we ain't never getting a real tree." That's what I'm saying. I'm like, bro. The if, when me and Xavier have our like apartment or our house, we're having two trees. Two trees. Yes. There's gonna be one in our bedroom and one in the living room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I got. Yeah, I got three trees in the crib. Yeah, my plus three <laughs> trees. That's a little. <laughs> But we could get one real and one fake. Yeah. All right, but this time, again, this is my first time experiencing. Yeah, this a real was tree. His, this was Xavier's first time experiencing a real tree so in that's general, why like going to get it, watering it, putting it together, everything. I don't even know how. To, I didn't even know you had to do all that to have a Christmas tree inside your house. For real, I just thought you just buy it and that's it. I mean, you can if you go to the the places that cut them already, uh -huh. and they just put them in stump, like in uh, a little parking lot type of thing. Gotcha. Like the firehouses do that and stuff like that. Gotcha. But you still go and pick one. Gotcha. You just don't, you know, you don't need your axe and your saw and all that. But for future references, I know it won't happen again because I know that we have. Yeah, to Yeah, now sure. we know what to do. Yep. Yeah, you know now we know what to do because usually I got a real tree before and we cut it down, but my dad did everything, so I didn't really know what happened. Yeah. But, you know, me and my mom, we redid the tree. We got, you know, we found some new ornaments. We found some more lights. We found um, some, like, a new star. So, you know, the second time, I feel like the tree looks a lot better this time. So we're going to show you how the tree looks now. Yeah, I, no, I posted on my Instagram. So I'll just add the little clip that I posted today on Instagram right here. I mean, it's not that big of a difference, but honestly, like the first time, if you guys saw the vlog, we put white and gold tinsel. Mm -hmm. This time, it's just white, and we found like these little gold beads. So we put the white tinsel and then the gold beads. And plus, you didn't have that much um, snow the first time. Yeah, we didn't have that much snow. We found a lot more ornaments. So, I mean, everything happens for a reason. That's true. We got to set up the entire house this time. So now we have the stockings up, the dining room tables all, you know, set up. Yeah. So, you know, you'll probably see things of those in the vlogs coming up. But honestly... A little story time for y'all. Yeah, man. we had to do this story time. Because, like, how could we not? Our whole Christmas tree fell down. Fell down, like flat on the ground. Wow. And honestly, you guys will, I don't know if you'll see it, but I'll put the picture up here. Everything was on the floor, except for the angel that fell perfectly on the couch. Perfectly on the couch. Everything else was everywhere, but the angel literally landed right on the couch. She said it was God. It, that's God. Because that angel was glass, and that tree is at least six feet tall. Like, out of everywhere, it 
the angel ended up on the couch. Literally. There was all the ground right, space. On, not the edge of the couch, like couch by the cushions, everything. Yeah. So look at God. But we know this is a little, you know, short vlogmas video, but we just had to share that because that was just a lot. Good thing none of the branches or anything broke. We would have had to probably go get another yeah. tree, bro. That would have been crazy. That's that's why I, when I told y'all I was stuck for two minutes, I'm like, do we gotta get another tree? Or yeah. I'm like, is this tree done? Because we I didn't know. I just seen it on and the floor. Point, I didn't think it was gonna stand again. We had the tree for like a week. Yeah. So I'm like, so what's going on? <laughs> yeah. So that concludes this story time. You know, if you are enjoying Vlogmas, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you had any crazy experiences with your Christmas uh, tree or on Christmas or anything like that. Anything and if you're new to our channel, make sure you do subscribe, turn on your post notifications. We're posting every day, 25 days of Christmas. Mm -hmm. And we will see y'all in tomorrow's vlog. Peace. Oh, wait. Wait. We just made a new TikTok, y'all. <laughs> So follow us on TikTok at Xavier and Myasia. That's what it is. Yeah. Xavier and Myasia, not the and symbol. Mm -hmm. A N D. We'll put it. We'll we'll add it. In the yeah, it'll be down in the description. The link so, for that. Tap in, man, bro. But we love y'all. We we'll see y'all next tomorrow. Yep. We'll see you tomorrow.